Hey what is going on everybody welcome to another video in which uh, we will see how to calculate income tax for the financial year 2017 and 18 so this will be for the assessment year 2018 and 19 so this is the year that is going on that is 2017 and 18 and remember guys this uh, calculation of income tax is applicable for the financial year that is 2017 and 18 so whatever income that you earn in the year that is uh, 2017 and 18 the process that i am going to explain in this, in this particular video is applicable for that particular income that you earn in the year 2017 and 18 and this is not for the year which uh, has already passed that is uh, 2016 and 17 all right so uh, we are going to see in this uh, video what are the different changes in the income tax slab rates and how we can uh, calculate uh, including the changes that have been made in the income tax so let's get started with this video all right so remember guys this is for the financial year 2017 and 18 so uh, whatever income that you earn for the financial year that is 2017 and 18 uh, for that particular financial year you are supposed to calculate the income tax based on the slab rates that we are going to discuss in this video so uh, let's get started so as you can see we have uh, the income tax slab rates for this particular financial year okay for those whose age is uh, less than 60 years we have uh, we do not have any uh, you know slab rate for uh, um, 0 to 2 lakh 50,000 so those whose income is uh, between 0 to 2 lakh 50,000 they need not have to pay any tax all right and we have a change in the income tax slab rate for you know uh, the this category that is uh, 2 lakh 50,000 to 5 lakh so previously it was 10% uh, for the financial year 2016 and 17 okay but uh, from the financial year 2017 and 18 that is from this year onwards for which you will be calculating the income tax in the upcoming year that is 2018 and 19 assessment year so for that particular slab rate uh, the uh, for that particular slab, uh, the income tax uh, slab rate has been reduced by 5% and that is one of the, you know, uh, good news for those whose uh, income falls between uh, this particular category, that is between 250000 to 5 lakh and for, tho uh, for those, uh, we have a 5% uh, income tax that is supposed to be calculated, okay, and then the remaining uh, tax uh, slab rates that is income tax slab rates are uh, same that is between 5 lakh to 10 lakh we have uh, 20 percent and uh, beyond 10 lakh it is uh, 30 percent okay uh, more important things to note over here is uh, says that is uh, 3 percent on total income tax so you calculate the income tax on based on this uh, particular you know uh, rates and you calculate the three uh, percent says on that particular income tax and for those whose income is uh, between 50 lakhs to one crore they have to pay additional 10 percent uh, of uh, you know uh, tax uh, after calculating all these uh, income tax based on uh, these rates and for those whose income is more than one crore okay for them there's a 15 percent surcharge so basically this is the you know uh, these are some of the changes that have been made for the financial year 2017 and 18 as far as calculation of income tax is concerned and this is for the people whose age is uh, less than 60 years all right so for those whose age is more than 60 years and uh, less than 80 years all the things are the same except uh, the you know category that we have that is from 0 to 3 lakhs they do not have uh, any uh, tax to be paid all right so instead of 2 lakh 50000 the limit is increased to 3 lakh and this is for those whose age is between 60 to 80 years that is senior citizens all right and uh, if the uh, income is uh, between 3 lakh to 5 lakh we have a 5 percent tax rate and then the remaining tax rates are same that is 20 percent and 30 percent based on these uh, brackets that is 5 lakh to 10 lakh and beyond 10 lakh we have 20 and 30 percent respectively all right and the says remains the same that is 3 percent of total income tax then the surcharge of 10 percent if the income is between 50 lakhs to 1 crore and 15 percent if the income is more than 1 crore all right so that is uh, as far as surcharge is concerned so this is for uh, basically for those whose uh, age is between 60 and 80 years all right 
and for those whose age is uh, more than 80 years uh, we have uh, slightly different uh, income tax lab rates for them that is uh, from uh, 0 to 5 lakhs okay they do not have to pay any tax so this is one of the good things that they that they need not have to pay any tax but this is for those whose uh, age is uh, more than uh, 80 years that is super senior citizens alright and the other uh, tax rates are same that is between 5 lakh to 10 lakh we have a 20% tax rate for them and uh, you know uh, more than 10 lakhs we have 30% uh, of uh, interest uh, rate for them alright and sorry uh, the income tax uh, interest uh, percentage for them all right so uh, we have another uh, you know uh, the says that is uh, three percent on the total income tax and the surcharge of 15 percent if the income is more than one crore so more or less it is uh, the same thing as far as uh, you know uh, the income tax uh, slab rates are concerned uh, small changes here and then as far as uh, the uh, age of uh, different uh, you know uh, people uh, is concerned uh, based on the category in which uh, they fall all right so in this uh, particular video we are also going to see some of the you know a uh, couple of examples as to how we can calculate the income tax all right based on uh, these changed uh, income taxes lab rates and you know for the financial year 2017 and 18 which you will be calculating for the assessment year 2018 and 19 but what i believe is a majority of you all must have already planned as to how to save your uh, tax so basically uh, you need to know how to you know first of all uh, you need to know the process of how to calculate the income tax okay before uh, starting to save the income tax so basically this uh, video is uh, created uh, for that particular purpose so you know uh, we'll uh, see uh, before coming to you know uh, the example that we are going to uh, discuss about in this particular video uh, we'll see how to calculate the gross taxable income all right so you need to add the income from your salary or business okay along with the income from other sources such as bank accounts interest capital gains from mutual funds or shares all right and then whatever property that you have that is gaining some kind of you know money for you all right and this bank accounts interest is uh, deductible under ATTTA so you need not have to worry much about it so uh, the income from all the other sources okay apart from your salary or any kind of business that you have all right and then the deductions that you have that is uh, there are different deductions which we will cover in the you know some other videos all right so i'll uh, make some other videos as far as deductions are concerned so we'll see what are different types of deductions okay that uh, we can include as far as our gross taxable income is concerned so these are the things that you must know before uh, calculating your uh, gross taxable income okay so that uh, you can calculate your income tax all right and the gross taxable income is nothing but it's the income from your salary or business uh, uh, plus the income from the other sources such as uh, bank accounts interest or capital gains or any kind of you know uh, money that you are gaining from uh, any kind of uh, property all right and then minus the deductions that you have made okay so this is done in order to save your income tax all right so uh, basically let's uh, get started with these uh, couple of examples that uh, i have uh, you know uh, taken in this particular video so uh, we have uh, Suppose uh, we have the income from salary as 8,50,000 and income from other sources as 19,000 including our gain from the mutual funds or you know shares or properties or you can say the bank accounts interest alright so uh, your cross total income becomes uh, 8,69,000 alright and then you have say suppose uh, these deductions okay, which comes to around 1,74,000 so your gross taxable income comes to you know uh, 6,95,000 all right so uh, if you see the gross taxable income is six like ninety five thousand and uh, okay if you think that uh, since it comes in the 20 percent slab rate so uh, this is the way you should calculate your income tax and then uh, i would like to tell you guys that uh, this is not the process that uh, we you know uh, use in order to calculate the income tax okay there's a slightly different process as far as calculation of income tax is concerned Alright, so uh, this is the actual process in which uh, you know all the different uh, brackets of income is taken into consideration. So if you see uh, from zero to two lakh fifty thousand, you need, you need not have to pay any tax, so it is exempted from tax. So the tax liability is zero. 
from 2 lakh 50 thousand to 5 lakhs we have the changed uh, rate that is income tax rate from 10 percent to 5 percent this is for the financial year 2017 and 18 so this is one of the most important thing that you should remember guys this uh, changes uh, for the financial year 2017 and 18 so whatever income that you earn from 2017 and 18 for that particular calculation of income tax you should consider this uh, change in the income tax rate all right so it is five percent from two lakh fifty thousand to five lakhs so it comes to around you know it comes to twelve thousand five hundred instead of twenty five thousand which was uh, for the previous year all right so uh, it has been uh, you know uh, decreased by you know twelve thousand five hundred that is half all right so since the uh, rate is five percent and the rate is twenty percent for five lakh to ten lakh but uh, since we have the gross taxable income as six like nine five thousand you reduce it by five lakh okay after calculating for the five lakh two lakh fifty thousand to five lakh uh, brackets all right so twenty percent on this uh, remaining income it comes to around thirty nine thousand all right and you do not have uh, beyond 10 lakhs income so uh, the 30 percent the bracket becomes nil all right and you know uh, there's one more important thing to uh, note over here is that the tax repay that we have it has been reduced from 5000 to 2500 for the financial year 2017 and 18 all right and also the limit okay for which the tax rebate is applicable before it was you know for those whose income is uh, less than five lakhs but from the financial year 2017 and 18 it will be applicable only for those whose uh, income is less than three lakh fifty thousand so that is uh, the uh, one of the changes that have been made for the financial year 2017 and 18 okay as far as calculation of income tax is concerned all right so uh, we have a total of uh, twelve thousand five hundred and thirty nine thousand alright so we add both these and we calculate the three percent on the sum of these uh, numbers which comes to around one five four five okay and then we add all these uh, three numbers to get uh, your taxable income so fifty three thousand and forty five rupees is the actual tax that you are supposed to pay on six lakhs nine to five thousand considering uh, the deductions okay that uh, you have made or you can say the investments that uh, you have made right as we have seen in the previous slide okay so this is one of the most important thing that is uh, you know tax rebate is applicable only when gross taxable income is not greater than uh, uh, three lakh fifty thousand so for the previous year that is for the financial year 2016 and 17 it was five lakhs but from the financial year 2017 and 18 that is uh, for whatever money that you are going to earn in this particular financial year 2017 and 18 and calculate the income tax in the assessment year 2018 and 19 for this particular financial year the tax rebate uh, limit has been decreased to 350000 so only those guys whose uh, income is uh, less than 350000 they can uh, take the benefit of this uh, tax rebate that is 2 uh, 2500 okay this example we are going to see in the you know uh, next uh, slide as to how we can use this tax rebate all right so uh, the only thing you need to remember is uh, this thing that is 2500 is the maximum tax rebate that you can use and it is only for those whose income is less than 350000 so uh, let's uh, look into our second example that is say suppose if the income from salary is uh, 5 lakhs and the income from other sources that is 15,000 so it comes to around 5 lakh 15,000 all right and then these are the deductions that you have uh, made that is different investments that you have made all right so it comes to around uh, 1 lakh 74,000 all right so uh, the gross taxable income is uh, your total income uh, minus the investments that you have made so it is 3 lakh 41000 all right so uh, if you see uh, this is a gross taxable income that is 3 lakh 41000 and if you think that uh, the 10% of uh, 3 lakh 41000 is uh, 34100 and the, that is not the process Alright, so uh, the actual process is uh, of calculating the income taxes, uh, you know, 5% uh, will be uh, based on your 2 lakh 50,000 to 5 lakh, so uh, it comes to around uh, 4,550. Then, uh, since these two brackets uh, we do not have any, you know, income for these, so uh, it is nil. And 
as you can see we have a tax rebate of maximum of 2500 so till now you have calculated 4550 and you can reduce 2500 that is uh, taking the benefit of uh, tax rebate all right so it reduces to 2050 and 3% of this particular total that is 2050 is 61.5 and you uh, add both these uh, numbers to get your uh, uh, tax that is the income tax that you are supposed to pay uh, for this particular income that you have considered uh, taking into consideration the investments that you have made already all right so this is uh, 2111.5 so this is the income tax that you are supposed to pay and this example covers the you know the usage of the tax rebate that you can make use of so uh, this is the maximum limit if uh, say suppose if the 5% of uh, this particular difference was uh, 2000 then okay uh, it would have been 2000 minus 2000 okay so the maximum that you can use is 2500 so this would have been zero if uh, it was uh, 2000 in this case and the total tax liability would also have been uh, zero so uh, that is a way we can uh, you know uh, include the tax rebate as far as calculation of the income tax is concerned the only thing to remember over here is uh, it is applicable only for those whose uh, income is uh, less than three like fifty thousand, and not for those whose uh, income is uh, more than three like fifty thousand. All right. So these are some of the changes that have been made, and based on the changes, okay, we have seen in this particular video that how we can calculate the income tax. But uh, remember, guys, this is uh, the calculation of income tax for the financial year 2017 and 18, which will be calculated in the assessment year 2018 and 19 and for this particular year that is 2017 and 18 while calculating your income tax you should uh, refer to the previous rules that is 10 percent on the first bracket and the tax rebate of 5000 so okay these particular uh, set of rules will be applicable only from the next financial year that is uh, whatever income that you are going to earn from 2017 to 2018 all right so that's it in this video hopefully uh, you would have understood the process of how we can calculate the income tax based on the changes that have been made in the you know uh, for the financial year 2017 and 18 so have a nice day